Have you ever wondered if you will live forever or not? Today, we're diving deep into some of the most profound questions about quantum immortality. What is the theory of biocentrism? Does your consciousness create the fabric of the cosmos? Are dreams an extension of physical reality? Do time and space really only exist in your mind? Is there only a series of eternal nows? Is death merely transport into another universe? Are you immortal according to quantum physics? Is a biocentric theory of everything possible? What is life? Is self real? Where is humanity's place in the cosmos? Let's delve into the answers to these questions with a comprehensive scientific perspective. Does your consciousness create the fabric of the cosmos? The realm of human consciousness and its relationship with reality has always been a subject of deep intrigue and mystery. This complexity is exemplified when we consider dreams, those vivid, immersive experiences that can be so lifelike that they blur the lines between the dream world and reality. Dreams highlight the brain's remarkable ability to create experiences, even in the absence of external sensory inputs, such as during sleep. This phenomenon opens up a fundamental question about the nature of consciousness. Does it merely shape our perception of reality, or does it play a role in creating physical reality itself? The advent of the scientific method marked a significant evolution in our understanding of the natural world, challenging and often overturning many traditional ideas. This transformation was particularly evident with the development of quantum mechanics, a field that introduced concepts defying conventional logic. One of the most striking examples of this is the wave-particle duality, as demonstrated by the double-slit experiment. This experiment revealed that particles exhibit both wave-like and particle-like properties, with their behavior changing when subjected to observation. The act of observing or measuring a quantum particle appears to cause the collapse of its wave function, forcing the particle into a specific state. This perplexing behavior remains one of the central mysteries in physics, leading to various theories and interpretations regarding the influence of observation in the quantum realm. Building upon these quantum mysteries, biocentrism, a theory proposed by Robert Lanza, a distinguished figure in stem cell research, presents a radical viewpoint. Lanza suggests that consciousness is not just a passive observer of reality, but an active creator of it. According to his theory, the universe and everything within it are constructs of our consciousness. This theory is underpinned by seven principles that explore the interplay between consciousness, perception, and the physical universe. These principles challenge the conventional understanding of space and time as external entities, proposing instead that they are mental constructs. Lanza argues that without consciousness, the universe would linger in an undetermined state of probability. The first principle of biocentrism posits that our perception of reality is influenced by our consciousness, casting doubt on the existence of an external reality independent of our perception. Since space and time are perceived differently depending on the observer's state, they are argued to be constructs of the human mind rather than absolute realities. The second principle ties external and internal perceptions together, suggesting that our consciousness not only interprets sensory information, but also plays a role in creating what is sensed. The third principle extends this idea to the behavior of subatomic particles, which seem inextricably linked to the presence of an observer. This principle posits that without observation, particles exist in a state of probability rather than as defined entities. The fourth principle takes this concept further, asserting that without consciousness, matter dwells in an undetermined state of probability. This idea suggests that consciousness is essential for the manifestation of the physical universe. The fifth principle looks at the universe's fine-tuning for life, arguing that this makes sense 
if life and consciousness are what created the universe in the first place. The sixth and seventh principles challenge the conventional understanding of time and space. The sixth asserts that time is a mental construct, a tool we use to understand changes in the universe rather than a real external entity. The seventh principle views space similarly, proposing that it is not an independent reality, but a creation of our consciousness. Despite its intriguing propositions, biocentrism faces significant criticism and debate. One major critique is its unfalsifiability, as it is challenging to design experiments to conclusively prove or disprove the theory. Critics also question the application of quantum mechanical principles, which govern the microscopic world, to the macroscopic reality we experience daily. This extension of quantum principles to macro-reality, they argue, runs counter to our observable experience and established scientific understanding. Another point of contention is the theory's claim that the universe is fine-tuned for life. Critics argue that this interpretation selectively ignores the vastness of the universe, most of which is inhospitable to life as we know it. This claim seems to place humanity back at the cosmic center, a position that many scientific discoveries have progressively moved away from. The debate surrounding biocentrism challenges our perspectives and invites us to ponder the mysteries of existence, consciousness, and the universe in new and profound ways. Our dreams, an extension of physical reality. You allocate approximately one-third of your existence to the realm of sleep, a domain where dreams unfold. It's worth pondering whether these dreams might be more than mere figments of our imagination. Perhaps our habitual dismissal of dreams as simple, ephemeral fantasies could be a sign of a deeper misunderstanding about the intricate nature of consciousness and the very fabric of physical reality. Consider the dialogue in Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland, where Alice emphatically claims her reality by saying, I am real. Without reality, I couldn't possibly shed tears. In a tone brimming with skepticism, Tweedledum challenges her, retorting, Do you honestly believe those are actual tears? This exchange underscores how we often take for granted the remarkable ability of our minds to synthesize and interpret a vast array of information. Every experience, every sensation we perceive is nothing but a complex blend of data being processed in the recesses of our brains. Enter biocentrism, an emerging theory of everything, which proposes a radical idea. Space and time are not the rigid, absolute entities we perceive them to be. Rather, they are sophisticated tools employed by our mind to organize and make sense of our sensory experiences. These concepts are fundamental to our understanding of consciousness. They explain why, in particle physics experiments, the observed properties of space, time and matter itself vary relative to the observer. If you want to know more about these principles, then comment down below and we will create the next video dedicated to that. Until then, what are your thoughts about this video? Comment your thoughts below. And subscribe to our channel for more similar videos like these.